everyone's Jackal Wolf back in Feed the Beast's Ocean Block with another five minutes. That's how I did it. Now, if you've been following along, you know that we are working our way through the quest book. Last episode, we did the Oak Sluice quest. That is basically to craft ourselves a Oak Sluice. We then went over the use and operation of the Oak Sluice to get basically all of or most of the resources we are going to require in our world. Now, at the end of that episode, though, there were a couple of things that I forgot to do, uh, one of which was to claim a couple of rewards. So first off is the Chunks and Ores reward. Aren't you glad I didn't say Chunky? Uh, that was to make a Iron Ingot, which we did through the ore block from the drip method and then gather eight ore chunks which we did you know quite handily using the uh the wooden sluice so ore chunks how much did we get 13 of them that's actually not too bad uh it was a pretty random amount i think in my let's play world i got the minimum which is really kind of disappointing but uh the other quest that we had was the storage quest we had a basic crate uh, that was something that we just basically uh, got as a reward. Making the basic crate is fairly simple. It is four small crates and four iron nuggets. So it's actually a really fairly cheap one. Uh, and then it gets you a basic crate. So we did get that one as a reward, but we'll get another random reward. Band of Aura. Interesting. Not exactly sure what it does, but it's a bobble. We're going to throw it up in our little bobble slot for the moment. Can I put it on the ring? I'm going to put it down on the rings down there. Or... Yeah, we'll keep it on the rings for now, and we'll see if we can use that sometime. This is when we get to Botnia, which is quite a ways away from where we're at. So this episode, though, what we're going to do is we're going to go back up to our Getting Started tab, and we're going to go work on the Iron Sluice. Now, the Iron Sluice is the upgrade from the Oak Sluice. The reason you want to do this as soon as possible is that the Iron Sluice begins our automation method so we can automate certain things on the iron sluice whereas the oak sluice is pretty much it's manual and that's the only way of doing it so to make an oak sluice what we got to do is take one of our old regular wooden sluices snag that out of our world and then we're going to go put it in a crafting table with two iron ingots and an iron chain now the iron chain is just the vanilla iron chain it is a iron ingot and two iron nuggets. So very, very uh, simple. You can actually find these as uh, rewards in some of the chests. I know in my uh, Let's Play world, I found a, uh, a handful of them anyways. So we're going to go take that out of our crafting table. And like the wood sluice, when you place it down, the spot closest to you is going to be your output. And then the spot furthest from you is going to be your input. So I'm going to go place it up against that block. That places it so it will sluice into this chest. Now, the wooden sluices do not sluice into chests automatically. You could use yourself a hopper and hopper it into a chest, but really... You, it's so easy to get up to the iron uh, sluice and it's actually cheaper to go up to the iron sluice which will automatically hopper items uh, into it than it is to actually make a hopper so that's something i discovered uh when we were doing the uh, the let's play there so what we're going to do is we're just going to take a piece of gravel we're going to take a little bit of water i gotta sneak it through the crack here add that water there once that sluice is down all those items are going to go into that chest and i've already got stuff in here and i just saw the the copper and the cinnabar actually bumped up a little bit so that's fair enough that is basically how that's going to work so that is method or step one of automating our sluice now that still leaves us with a water problem we still gotta you know manually go and take buckets of water from our world and place it into our sluice into our iron sluice the way we can get around that, though, is to make ourselves a manual pump. Now, to make a manual pump, it is three buckets of water, three smooth stone. So not stone stone. You actually got to cook it in the furnace to get the smooth stone. And then three oak planks. That gets us a manual pump. And this is the reason I did this little star formation here, is that the manual pump can actually interact with four different sluices at the same time. Now, it's not as ideal as it sounds. If we go and place this... In the spot where that wood was, if I go and try to fill this up, you watch that timer there. And it's not filling up quite as quick. Okay, so here's something that I didn't actually realize when I was testing this. Uh, it actually fills up the the wooden sluices as well. I did not think that the, the manual pump worked on the wood sluices, uh, but I guess it does, which is fine. That's actually works really, really well. But once you hit that certain point, 
it's almost impossible to get past that four second mark, which is not the end of the world, especially once we automate this a little bit more. This has given us pretty much automatic sluicing. So all we could do is we could sit here and we could just feed in gravel one after the other or sand or dust or whatever it is that we're sluicing. The problem is... What, eventually we're going to run out of water and it's when we're doing four of them it's like really really kind of annoying having to fill in each one of these and then still pump it at the same time oh yeah, there he goes you see these guys didn't get picked up by the chest so a simple method of inputting into the iron sluice that is by using a regular vanilla hopper to make a vanilla hopper of course it is the five iron ingots with a chest in the arc in a crafting table we take that out we can actually go place that right right on on top there we go i can't i guess you can't click the net you got to actually click the the top of the uh, sluice there we can go throw that gravel in there we can throw that sand in there this is now automatically going to feed items into our uh, sluice and then we could just sit here with our you know manual pump and manually pump water into it while it is using it and if we set it up with all four of them at the same time enough resources going through them especially once these are all become uh iron ones and they can start automatically uh you know depositing their items into chests uh, this becomes a very very easy way of collecting resources now this is not the end all of automation there is a automatic pump called the aqueous accumulator the thing is it does not work with the iron uh, uh sluices it only works with the diamond and the netherite sluice so that's something we're gonna have to work towards we got to get diamonds in our world. That's going to be mainly doing uh, gravel uh, through a gold mesh. So that's something we're going to have to work on next episode. So before we finish off, though, let's go open up our quest book. We've got two quests for this episode. We'll do the iron sluice, which gets us a building gadget, which is OK. I mean, it's if I go do any building, that's going to be kind of handy. And then the manual pump, which is the uh, pump it louder quest. That gets us iron spikes, so, you know, that's something we can automate our mob farm with sometime in the future. Right now, I again, I'm not uh, super needful of getting any mob drops, but at some point in the future, I'm pretty sure we're going to want to do that. So let's just put these here for the moment, just so they're out of the way, and I won't forget about them. Now, there is one more quest here. What quest did I get? It was probably one of the miscellaneous ones. Oh, there we go. Actually, two of them. The Building Gadget quest and the Iron Spikes quest. So, do I really want to claim this one? I might actually leave this until we get to the point where we want to actually upgrade our thing. I am actually going to do that. The Building Gadget, though, you know what? Let's collect that one. Because I'll be honest with you, I probably won't do an episode on the Building Gadget. To get that reward, Blessed Earth. Okay, so... Uh, that's a lucky, lucky build. That's passive mobs. Uh, that was something we were going to work on, uh, in the future. A block of iron and dirt gets us blessed earth. That's actually not too, too difficult, especially now that we've got a semi-automatic, uh, sluice uh, system here so uh but in any case we'll worry about that one next time hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully you guys found it uh useful if you did please think about leaving a like and a subscribe you can follow me on twitter at jackal wolf also check out the description below there will be a link to my discord page i would love it if you guys stopped by to say hi as well to be a link to my patreon page if you enjoy this channel if you enjoy this content you want to support stop by check it out there are a lot of great perks out there for all of my supporters but that is it i'll see you guys next time good bye